Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gloria and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about my top five favorite Hoyas at the moment. As you guys know, I love my Hoyas and I've narrowed down my entire collection to the five that I like the most. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. First off, I wanted to talk to you guys about the biggest Hoya that I have. So I would say this is number five. Number five on my list of my top five favorite Hoyas. And this is the first one. So this one is my Hoya Matilde. It used to be my favorite Hoya actually, but I think now that I've gotten other Hoyas, I'm really obsessed with some of the other ones, but I still really like this one. It has kind of shinier, darker, splashy leaves and they're circular. So very similar to Hoya Serpents, which is the plant that it was crossed with initially. So it's Serpents and uh, Carnosa. So this is a hybrid of the two and it just gets the best qualities of both. So you get the fast growing part of a Hoya Carnosa and you get the smaller circular leaves of Serpents without the kind of difficult care aspect of it so it's a lot easier to care for and i would definitely recommend it for beginner plant parents and yeah it's just a very kind of prolific grower and i hear that they bloom very easily as well mine hasn't bloomed yet it has a lot a lot a lot of peduncles so maybe one day it will bloom for me but yeah this one is definitely one of my favorites it's um a very big hoya that i got and i got this from crystal star nursery I think most of these I got from Crystal Star Nursery actually. But yeah, this one comes in in number five. So my fourth favorite Hoya is probably this one, which is my Hoya Thompsonii. So this is the Thompsonii pink and it has the fuzziest leaves. If you guys can see, it's just like straight up hairy. Uh, the newer leaves are definitely a lot fuzzier than the old leaves. So this one is an old leaf. As you can see, it's a little fuzzy, but I feel like the fuzziness kind of wore off. But the newer leaves are super fuzzy. And it's grown quite quickly. So those are new leaves as well. And the vine goes all the way up to here. So I just kind of trellis this up and I wrap it around the trellis so that it kind of grows a little more contained, <laughs> I would say. So yeah, it's just, it's looking really cute. I really like it. And yeah, the, there's nothing spectacular about the shape or the look of the foliage. It's just really the feel. So it feels so fuzzy and I love, love, love fuzzy leaves. I can't wait to actually see these bloom because the flowers are actually really cute. But because my plant is fairly, you know, immature, it's a very small plant. I don't know if it's gonna bloom anytime soon, but yeah, I usually try to pick Hoyas for their foliage as opposed to their blooms just because you know, you're gonna be staring at the foliage so much more often as opposed to the blooms, and even when they do bloom, they don't last forever, so you should pick a Hoya if you like the foliage. So, plant number three. So in third place, I would say it has to be my Obovada. So just the regular Obovada, I don't really like the variegated one as much as I thought I would, and yeah, the, just the regular one is so much more round and succulent, and it comes out a lot less deformed, so this one is my Hoya obovada. So as you guys saw in previous video, I actually propagated this from the parent plant. So I also got this from Crystal Star Nursery. It was growing pretty quickly, so I just decided to chop it and this has pretty much completely rooted. So this is the new leaf that it's come out with so far. As you can see, it's pretty round and it grows quite large over time. So it comes out super, super, super tiny leaves and then it gets huge. So yeah, I can see like aerial roots, new aerial roots are actually growing and yeah, this plant is actually really happy. It's just um, rooted in moss right now. As you can see, there's actually so much roots. Oh my God, can you see? It's like all over the bottom. So it's rooted really well. I'm pretty sure I'm going to transfer this to soil when I get my next Crystal Star Nursery haul, just so I can kind of do it all together. and. This one will be in a little pot of soil soon. So yeah, I really like this. I love round, big leaves. There's some splashiness to it and it's just 
It's just such a cute plant. I really love this one. So plant number two is my Hoya Mini Parensis. I really like this because it has the most unique shaped leaves. This one and the Rotunda Flora, but I find this one actually grows a little bit faster and I just kind of like the growth pattern a little bit more. Um, it does have thinner foliage, but it has these triangular shaped leaves, which I find are just so adorable. So I actually snip this to make three little stems so that I can have a more fuller plant. And I'm really happy I did that actually. So I can't wait till this kind of grows out uh, more full, but right now it just looks really cute. I think the um, this, each piece is rooted now because I can't, I can't really pull it out with little force. So that's when you know the plant is more rooted into the soil. So yeah, I really like this one. It's super cute in shape. It's not too fuzzy and it's not too stiff either. So it's not very waxy. So it's a little bit on the thinner foliage side, which I don't tend to like, but I really like just the shape of these leaves. I can't see it enough. <laughs> and last but not least is plant number one. So this one is my all-time favorite Hoya right now, and it is the Hoya Australis Lisa. So it's just absolutely stunning. I can't wait till I get a really big version of the Hoya Australis Lisa because I just love the variegation. It's so unique. It has kind of like a creamish yellow center and then the outside borders are a beautiful darker green and just it's so it's so pretty. So it is a little bit thinner compared to my Hoya Matilde, Obobata, and the Thomsonii. It's completely smooth so no fuzz but I would say the variegation on here is really what gets me so I'm such a sucker for variegation I really like this I would say if you can't find a Hoya Australis Lisa maybe go for the Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess because the variegation is a little bit similar the leaf shape and texture is a little bit different but I would say it has kind of the middle variegation and it's a lot more common to find I have both but I definitely love this one the most out of all my other Hoyas and I can't wait and it's already started to root and it's so exciting. So yeah, that pretty much concludes today's video. Those were my top five favorite Hoyas that I have in my collection. I'd love to know what your favorite Hoyas are so comment them down below and yeah, thank you so much for watching and if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks, bye!